In 2005, an international conference titled Avoiding Dangerous Climate Change, a scientific symposium on stabilization of greenhouse gases examined the link between atmospheric greenhouse gas concentration and global warming and its effects. The conference name was derived from Article 2 of the Charter for the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change the conference explored the possible impacts at different levels of greenhouse gas emissions and how the climate might be stabilized at a desired level. The conference took place under the United Kingdom's presidency of the G8, with the participation of around 200 internationally renowned scientists from 30 countries. It was chaired by Dennis Turpik and hosted by the Hadley Center for Climate Prediction and Research in Exeter, from 1 February to 3 February. The conference was one of many meetings leading up to the 2015 Paris Agreement, at which the international community agreed to limit global warming to no more than 2 degrees Celsius in order to have a 50 to 50 chance of avoiding dangerous climate change. However, a 2018 published study points at a threshold at which temperatures could rise to 4 or 5 degrees through self-reinforcing feedbacks in the climate system, suggesting the threshold is below the 2 degree temperature target. Global carbon dioxide emissions through year 2004 global average surface temperature 1880 to 2015, with a zero variance point set at the average temperature between 1961 and 1990 the conference was called to bring. Together the latest research into what would be necessary to achieve the objective of the 1992 United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, it was also intended to encourage further research in the area. In the 2001 IPCC Third Assessment Report, an initial assessment of the subject had been included, however, the topic had received relatively little international discussion. Specifically, the conference explored three issues, among the conclusions reached, the most significant was a new assessment of the link between the concentration of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, and the increase in global temperature levels. Some researchers have argued that the most serious consequences of global warming might be avoided if global average temperatures rose by no more than 2 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels. It had generally been assumed that this would occur if greenhouse gas concentrations rose above 550 parts per million carbon dioxide equivalent by volume. This concentration was, for example, informing government in certain countries, including the European Union. The conference concluded that, at the level of 550 parts per million, it was likely that 2 degrees Celsius would be exceeded, according to the projections of more recent climate models. Stabilizing greenhouse gas concentrations at 450 parts per million would only result in a 50% likelihood of limiting global warming to 2 degrees Celsius, and that it would be necessary to achieve stabilization below 400 parts per million to give a relatively high certainty of not exceeding 2 degrees Celsius. The conference also claimed that if action to reduce emissions is delayed by 20 years, rates of emission reduction may need to be three to seven times greater to meet the same temperature target. As a result of changing opinion on the safe atmospheric concentration of greenhouse gases, to which this conference contributed, the UK government changed the target in the Climate Change Act from 60% to 80% by 2050. Thanks for watching.